welcome back to my channel. I'm James. Today I'm excited to announce we're going to be reviewing and deep diving into the limited edition 4K Ultra HD release from Arrow Video of The Last Emperor, one of these really great 80s epics. The brand new limited edition 4K Ultra HD release of the Sisters Brothers from Arrow Video and Groupier, which is the brand new 4K Ultra HD release from Arrow Video as well. As you notice, probably with the title of this video, the trend is Arrow Video releases. And I've got a bunch of these in early for review. I actually got some of them in about two to three weeks early for review. So I've been testing and analyzing each and every one of these. Now I do want to touch on something about Arrow Video's releases here and why I haven't done a bunch of Arrow Video's releases on reviews recently. I've had a lot of questions kind of asking why there hasn't been any. Well, I figured I'd touch on it now. I had some issues with some new management that took over for their local US distribution, MVD Entertainment. And the new management that took over from the management I'd worked with with many years for reviewing things from their company treated me extremely badly and extremely poorly and basically just put a really bad sour taste in my mouth. And they just treated me absolutely horrible after all the work and things I've done with them over the years. So I kind of just took a step back from Arrow Video's titles for a while, but I've gotten a lot of questions from a lot of you here on this YouTube channel asking me to dive into more of these. So I did reach out to Arrow Video directly other than to their local distributor and I'm talking with them about getting more into doing more of their releases that are sent directly from them instead of actually dealing possibly with their distributor and things like that. But I don't have anything to share specifically about that yet. It's something that I'm just in the early stages of actually reaching out and talking with them about. But the fact of it is, is I was treated so extremely badly and so extremely poorly that to be honest with you, it was really hard for me to in any way, shape or form even review any of their products just because of the bad, bad overall taste I have and the way that I was treated. So today I'm excited because I'm gonna be diving back into Arrow Video's releases. And I'm gonna be doing a big one here today, covering all three of these. I'm gonna be doing on a couple of these, my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons to show you how they compare to some of the previous Blu-ray releases and if these are worth buying and upgrading. Kind of let you know how Arrow Video is doing now. I know that I enjoyed a lot of their releases before. They've had some rockier ones and some really great ones, but overall I've really always enjoyed them as a company. So I was excited to dive back into these and to get to explore some of one of my favorite boutique labels that's out there. And I will tell you there's a lot of exciting stuff I've got to cover in this review. Now, if after you get done watching this review and hearing my review scores for each one of these films, you decide you want to buy any of these 4Ks, I will post the links directly in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Those take you straight out to Amazon. They never cost you even a penny extra when you click on those links and they're on sale for the same price. So if you decide you're wanting to buy any of these, make sure to click on those links I've posted down below. I've made it nice and easy for you and included the exact links for each and every one of these posted in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Now to start off with, we're gonna start off with the Criterion Collection 2009 Blu-ray image above. This is the native image always pulled directly from these discs. If you wanna know more about the explanation of why that's important, you can watch any of my hundreds and hundreds of other videos I've done exclusively testing and reviewing these, but these are always the native images pulled directly from these discs without any of the artificial things your TV can do to alter them. Now, that image above from the Criterion Collection Blu-ray, it was a good transfer for the time. Now, it was earlier on, and they did re-release it in 2014, same transfer, they just released it in different packaging. And basically, it's always been one of those that I could see so much more life coming from it, but the master and things that was used to create the Criterion Collection Blu-ray always had a much more duller color palette and had a duller looking image. It was not super sharp. It did not have tons of depth or detail behind it. It just wasn't a beautiful release. And for this film, it desperately needed a brand new 4K restoration. In comparison to the brand new 4K restoration from Arrow Video and Turbine, and here's what's interesting. I really have enjoyed some of Turbine's recent 4K Ultra HD releases, and I was excited when I found out they'd work directly with Arrow Video on this, because I think Turbine does a great job on a lot of their 4K releases. Now, if you haven't checked out The Frighteners yet, I did an exclusive review many, many months ago, actually about three weeks before the release date. That was sent to me directly from Turbine, who does send me things for a review and they do a really good job. That was an amazing release. If you have not checked out that 4K release, you're really gonna wanna check out that video here on my YouTube channel. The same studio that did The Frighteners 
worked with Arrow Video on The Last Emperor. And I was really excited when I found that out because Turbine is known for doing some absolutely amazing 4K restorations, as is evident by The Frighteners, but they worked with Arrow Video on this release and it is a native 4K 2160p. And some exciting things about this release is it does include the original theatrical 163 minute cut and the extended TV cut, which in my opinion, I'm not as much a fan of the extended cut, though it is the best the extended cut has ever looked on the Blu-ray in here, which I'll get to here in a little bit. But the theatrical cut is what's on your 4K disc, and I'm thankful for that because the theatrical cut has such better pacing in my opinion. The extended cut really drug on for a long time with a lot of scenes that I just felt were unnecessary or dragged out for too long. So for me, because 163 minutes is a long movie anyways, this is really an epic movie. I mean, just to tell you, it's about basically exactly what it says, The Last Emperor. And it's one of those films that was allowed to film in the actual city, which has never happened before. So it was very unique. It did come out in 1987 and it swept the Academy Awards and won nine Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director, which is a pretty impressive feat. So if you have not checked out the film itself, the film is a very well done, very entertaining, epic look at the life of the last emperor, showing from his childhood all the way up until basically his death and showing his entire life and what he experienced, what the changes were, and there's some shocking changes. And it's done in a beautiful film that is so entertaining and so well done that you really sit there mesmerized, enjoying the beautiful cinematography, the filming location, because it's in the actual city and things like that, is just gorgeous. And it is one of those films that it's a historical piece that's done very well. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this exclusive or early content that I release only here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to go down there, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now I've always enjoyed the Criterion release and was glad to have it. But like I said, it desperately needed a 4K restoration. Thankfully, it got that from Arrow Video and Turbine who worked on this together. And they went back to the original 35 millimeter camera negatives. They did a brand new scan, a brand new color grading and master for the Dolby Vision and HDR10 that's present on this. And I will say the HDR10 and Dolby Vision brought this release to brand new heights. It looked really stunningly good. The brand new color grading with the wider color garment blows away the Criterion Collection Blu-ray release. As you're noticing in those image comparisons above, you have the native image of the 4K up here, but this is standard HDR. So again, when you watch it on your Dolby Vision or your HDR10, that 4K image will only look better because what YouTube does is it dumbs down any Dolby Vision HDR10 all the way down to standard HDR. So I will tell you that image up there is a representation, but when you watch this on your home professionally calibrated display, man, this looks really nice. The film grain's very stable throughout it. I didn't notice anything other than some very, very slight fluctuations. Otherwise, the scan with the film grain is very filmic throughout it. You can see it present throughout the entire film. I did not notice any DNR applied to this release at all. Bravo, Turbine and Arrow Video. But again, like I said, Turbine, they are a great restoration studio and Arrow Video does a good job as well. So working together, it really is a match made in heaven and a dream come true because they are two studios that really know how to do these restorations. And because they went back to the original camera negatives to do this, it brings so much more life to the film. You can see so much more details on their faces. Man, the costumes in this are so elaborate and so gorgeous and the sewing and everything. You can see it in like his hat and all the different military throughout it and his advisors and his mother and his father and every single person that's in it. Those he falls in love with, their costumes are so beautifully detailed with colors and gold and silver and just so much that's a treat for the eyes to watch. This 4K brought that to life beautifully and brilliantly well. It has inky blacks and brilliant whites with no black crush. There was no banding, no blocking, and no digital noise issues. So really, really impressive release image quality wise. Now talking about the sound, they went back for the audio mix and did the original uncompressed stereo 2.0 and English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 both of them sounded great. If I had to pick one that I think sounded 
basically in my opinion, the truest and the best, it probably would have been that uncompressed stereo mix, but I did really enjoy the English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix as well. And they're both in English, so it's not like you're missing out on one or the other. Um, it just kind of depends on what your preference is. That just new restored uncompressed was a nice bonus to get in this that I really did think sounded great. Now there wasn't as many hisses, clicks, or things that I noticed on the original Criterion one have been fixed, repaired in the audio mix, and sound a whole lot better. I could hear it much cleaner, clearer and easier to understand the background noises and when people are walking around and there's a lot of scenes that are like hushed noises people whispering in the kingdom and things like that and you can hear it so much better so much cleaner and so much easier to understand on this than i could on the criterion and i thought the criterion was pretty decent originally this really was an amazing job they did with the audio mix as well now another nice thing is aero video and turbine present this in the original aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1 for the theatrical cut and i will tell you that was a nice thing because there have been numerous releases of the last emperor over the years that have been in the incorrect and not intended original aspect ratio nicely they did this all in the original aspect ratio so great job on that now like i was mentioning earlier this does include the extended tv cut of the film and that runs 219 minutes and that does get a brand new 1080p hd master for the blu-ray in here but it's not on 4k I will say that that looks nice. It does look improved over the previous Blu-ray releases of the theatrical cuts anyways, just even the 1080p master of the TV cut in a lot of areas looked really good. But again, it is a 1080p HD master and it's not anywhere near as nice looking as the 4K. The 4K in this was really an impressive job and was very enjoyable to watch. So in that sense, if you're looking for the extended cut, it is a nice thing it is included in here and it is a brand new HD master, but where your money's at and what you're gonna get the most mileage for your money is by far the 4K theatrical cut in this, which is my preferred cut of the film anyways. It is just really shocking to see how good of a job they did. Now I'm gonna show you what you get in this limited edition set before I go into some more of my testing data and share with you my review score. You do get this really nice outside box, which I really think literally Turbine Aero Video, they do these great jobs on these. I did leave the sticker on mine, and as a lot of you know, I keep the shrink wrapping on the outside and just cut out the hole here. That way it kind of protects the box. It's kind of a quirky thing I do, but I got asked recently about it, why I leave the shrink wrapping on a lot of these. It's simply so that way I don't have to buy like an outside protector. I just use the shrink wrapping that comes on it and just carefully cut out the hole for where the stuff comes out. So that way it keeps everything protected. But that's just kind of a little bit of a hidden tidbit of what I do with this. But it does come in this nice box. It says the Last Emperor on it, Aero Video. Again, these limited editions are extremely collectible. So if you do decide after watching this review, you wanna buy this, that link I posted directly from Amazon in the description section below, but don't wait long to get these because once they sell out, they are extremely expensive and extremely hard to get. Now, when you get inside the box, you get this really nice limited edition collectible book. It's very thick. I'd probably say about a quarter of an inch or so thick. It's got some nice, nice artwork in it. It talks about the restoration. It talks about the film. It has things like photos from the film, uh, production cast photos. It talks about even at the back how it was actually made. And then it talks about the restoration work that went into the film. It talks about all the awards it got, theatrical posters it has in it. It really is an impressive booklet and one that I really enjoyed. And that's pretty much par for the course for a lot of these Arrow Video limited edition releases. I think their booklets that they release in these are some of the best collectibles for those of us that love collecting and reading other than just watching something. Having something to read and to dive into about the film to me makes this a big collectible for all those of us that are cinephiles that love to collect all these little extra things. This is a huge reason why I think Aero Video is one of the top producers of these limited edition releases that I absolutely love to collect and own. Next up, you do get a poster, really nice poster of the original artwork and then another artwork on it. So I like that they included this and yes, they are still printing these with the same printer with the same ink that I absolutely love the smell of. So bravo Arrow for not changing that. Next up, we have the case here. Now I switched my artwork around to show you the other case artwork. You do get reversible artwork, so you can choose which one you want. Side, it says Last Emperor in black, and then on the back, it has the same information that was listed on the outside of the box. Now, when you get inside here, you do get a bunch of these limited edition art cards. I'll show you some of these here in a second. 
And then you get your Blu-ray disc. Now, the only negative thing for those of us that live in region A territory is, is you will need a region-free or multi-region Blu-ray player to play the Blu-ray. The 4K Ultra HD disc, which is the one where I said it's at, is region free. So you won't have any issues with that. They didn't region lock this, thankfully, like some of the recent ones I've reviewed from around the world that are region locking 4Ks. Still makes no sense why we're still getting some of those released with region locking, but I'll get into that here in a future video about some of these studios I found that are region locking 4Ks. But thankfully, this is region free for the 4K, which is what we're wanting anyways. The Blu-ray, which does have that extended cut, you will need a region free or multi-region player if you live in basically region A or region C territory because it is region B locked, which is like the UK territory over there. That is region B, whereas in the US we are region A. So that just gives you an idea. If you wanna know more about regions and region locking, things like that, I've done dozens of videos over the year here on this YouTube channel explaining about that. And then these are all the art cards you get with all the different like arts and things from the movie and kind of showing off cast and things like that. I did really enjoy them and like them. I always love getting these little like artwork cards and things to enjoy and look through. And they're kind of just a nice little collectible for those of us that like to collect all this stuff. Now talking about the special features in this release, if you own the previous Criterion Collection release and you're big into the special features that are on the disc, you're going to want to have both of them. Neither one of them has all the special features from each of the release, and that's because they're commissioned specifically, as my understanding, by Arrow Video for this release. Criterion did their own for that release. So if you're wanting every single special feature and commentary or anything behind the scenes, you're going to want to have both releases just for the special features. Though the special features that are on this are really elaborate, you have tons of them on this. So if you are one of those that just enjoys watching them, you have plenty on this to dive into and appreciate and enjoy. It's just if you want every single one, you're going to want to have the Criterion as well because this one does not have the ones that were exclusively done by Criterion. Now, getting to some more of my exclusive testing, I did test out the rough average bitrate on this and I am happy to announce this had a very strong and very healthy 70 megabits per second. There were some slight little dips along the way, but overall the consistency with that 70 megabits per second is what lended to this having such a nice stable film grain and image overall and the HDR10 and Dolby Vision looked really superb with this. Now between both of those, I didn't really notice a one-up for either of them. I thought they were both very consistently similar. So no matter which of those you enjoy, Dolby Vision or HDR10, you're really going to appreciate how this looks. And because of this new 4K restoration, you're going to really enjoy the depth and detail that's in this image with that brand new color grading that shines through brilliantly beautiful over the Criterion Collection Blu-ray release. Now this release does come with English subtitles as well. Now getting to my review score, this gets a magnificent 9.5. This is a must buy. You need to add this to your collection to experience The Last Emperor's epic storytelling of truly The Last Emperor, to see and experience this historical event what went on and how epic of a story it really is and so entertaining and engaging that it won nine Oscars. It really is an impressive thing what this film was able to accomplish. The writing and acting in it are superb. The film needs to be experienced in this new 4K restoration and it is a must buy. You need to buy and add to your collection. Don't wait long though because this is limited edition. As Arrow Video is always known for, once these sell out, they become huge, expensive collectibles, hundreds and hundreds of dollars they go for on the aftermarket, and then you're out there stuck trying to get them when they're out of print and extremely hard to find. Right now it's in print. This just came out, so you will be able to get it right now. I posted that direct link in the description section below. 9.5, this is a must buy to add to your collection. Next up, we have the limited edition release from Arrow of The Sisters Brothers. Now this is a 2018 Western film. As most of you know, I'm a sucker for Western films and absolutely love them. This is one of those films I enjoyed. I won't say it's my favorite Western ever. I think it has some scenes that are slightly odd pacing and some of the dialogue is kind of a little bit quirky for a Western, I'll say. But it's still enjoyable and I enjoyed the fact of that they were trying something different with it, telling a different story from a different perspective, not the same old thing over and over again. And it's an enjoyable, I will say the cinematography on it's very impressive though. And I did enjoy some of the beautiful cinematography in it. 
and it did need a 4K release. Now, when it was originally released in the 2019 Blu-ray, as you've noticed above in those image comparisons above, the Blu-ray was a softer experience. It definitely lacked a lot of fine details. It was good looking for the Blu-ray at the time. It just didn't have tons of depth and detail to the image. And I will say that the color palette on it was just slightly duller than what we get with this new 4K Ultra HD release. Now, the kind of slightly frustrating thing about this was I could not find the details about specifically how this 4K was created other than that this new 4K was created by a master that was provided by Universal Studios. That's about it. So I don't know if they did a new scan Universal did and then provided it. That I don't know. I can only share what I was able to find out about this. So this 4K does have much more detail to it as you're noticing those images above. There's much more detail and life to the image. Their skin tones look miles better than it did on the Blu-ray because it did have a more grayish tone to the Blu-ray. So I do think that's a drastic improvement in those areas. I just can't tell you whether or not it was a new 4K scan, whether they did a new restoration on it, because none of that information was available anywhere that I could find. It's just very vague about that it's basically this 4K was created from a new master from Universal Studios. So maybe Universal Studios did it, scanned it, and then passed it on to Arrow Video. But that's what this release is created from. Now this does have Dolby Vision and HDR10 on it. Now I will say between the Dolby Vision and the HDR10, I did enjoy the Dolby Vision on this one slightly more than I did the HDR10. But in this one, I would say it was about a 6% difference. That was about what I was looking at difference wise. Uh, the Dolby Vision just to me had a better slightly color grading tone to it than what I felt like the HDR10 had, but the HDR10 wasn't a slouch. It still drastically improved the picture over what the previous Blu-ray had. So in that sense, no matter which one of those technologies you're using on your home cinema and what your player can play, you're still gonna really notice an appreciable increase in just the colors and then obviously the depth and detail of this image over the previous Blu-ray. Now, when I went through testing all of this side by side, I will say there was no black crush. There was no blocking, no banding, no digital noise. And I will say it had a very stable and filmic looking image throughout the entire thing. I didn't have any issues I could see throughout the entire thing and really thought it was almost pretty close to a flawless looking transfer. Now that doesn't mean it's perfect looking in the best transfer I've ever seen. It just means as far as like, Things that were wrong with it, you know, fluctuations, banding, blocking, digital noise, black crush, stuff like that. There wasn't any of that present on this 4K Ultra HD release. Now, for this release, you do get English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 audio mix, and you do get English subtitles. As far as the audio mix that's on this goes compared to the previous Blu-ray, I would just say that there was slightly more, I felt like, bass response and a little bit better LFE that I noticed on this than the previous Blu-ray release. Other than that, the clarity was very similar. So audio wise, I'd say you'd get a slight one up on this, but as far as the Blu-ray release goes, it had a good audio mix as well. So I'm not gonna say that you're getting a massive one up in that sense. The audio mix on both were good. This just has slightly better sound. Now showing you what you get in this, you get this really nice limited edition slipcover. It does have some shiny parts on the water here. On the side, it does say the Sisters Brothers. It's a really thick cardboard slip cover, so I do really like that. When you get inside, you do get reversible cover artwork. I put the inside one always the opposite of the outside. That way you get to enjoy both. It does have John C. Riley, Joaquin Phoenix, and Jake Gyllenhaal in it, which were great. I really like Jake Gyllenhaal's character in it, and I did like both of these playing off of each other as well. Now on the side here, it does say Sisters Brothers on it, and then the same thing on the back. Now, when you get inside here, you do get your 4K Ultra HD disc. This is a 4K Ultra HD only set. There's no extra Blu-ray disc separately. So in this, everything is contained on your 4K Ultra HD disc. It is 100% region free. They did not lock it, so that's good. And I will say it's a BD100, so there was plenty of room for the content and the special features as well. So that's good news. Then when you get to the stuff inside, you do get a really nice booklet in here. Again, these are done with all the photos of the cast and making the talks about the film, the things that went into it, the story. This one is a little bit thinner than a lot of the limited edition sets, but it still was an enjoyable read. Then inside you do get posters, both wanted posters for both of the main characters in the film. I will say as far as these posters go, they are a shinier material and it is thinner paper on it and it does not have the same smell. So on these ones, 
these kind of like thinner limited edition sets they're releasing, they are doing slightly different type of poster printing on not as thick cardstock type stuff, but you do get a poster in there. Now to share some more of my exclusive testing, I did do the rough average bit rate on this and I am happy to report this had an extremely high, extremely healthy 85 megabits per second. It was shocking at how high the rough average bit rate on this was. Now, getting to my review score for the Sisters Brothers on 4K Ultra HD from Arrow Video. This gets a highly recommended 9.3. It is a must buy. Anything in those nines, those eights, those are things you want to have in your collection to enjoy and experience. It is a nice, healthy improvement over the previous Blu-ray. I just wish I could have gotten more details about if it was a brand new restoration. I assume if it was, they would have posted it, they would have shared it. So my understanding is it's just a new scan that was done by Universal and then done in 4K for this. But it's healthy enough and looks nice enough on this that it is a worthwhile upgrade and is a nice addition. It's just, it does fall into that 9.3. So that gives you an idea where this falls. And it is one I enjoyed if you like Westerns. This is one that's a good Western to have in your collection. Though keep in mind, it's not one of those Westerns that's gonna be one of those you sit back and say, man, that was the happiest, most joyous film I've ever seen. There's a lot of things that just happen in it that kind of make you think and realize that they lived a rough life and there was a lot of rough things that happened back then. And it shows that side of it. Um, not meaning to give away too much, but I always think of the scene where John C. Riley's character gets the spider in his mouth and it bites him and then his face swells up and you know, they're sleeping out in the desert and out in the trees and things like that. And I always kind of thought about stuff like that. What about snakes or spiders crawling on you? And this film does a good job showing that, not meaning to give away too much, but basically, it shows a lot of these things that you kind of comprehend in Western films. How was it like living back then? And it does a good job showing those things. And this is the best way that the Sisters Brothers has ever looked on home video. Now, if you decide you want to buy this now that you've heard my review score, I always have that link posted from Amazon directly in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. All of the contents that are in this, the reversible cover, the slip cover, where you get the booklets and things like that, are what make these Arrow Video limited edition releases so collectible. And this is another really nice one to have in your collection. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Next up, we have Mike Hodges' neo-noir Clive Owen starring film, Croupier. And I might say that slightly wrong because I've heard it said numerous different ways, but regardless of that, we all can read the title and whether you live in the UK, whether you live in the US, we all say things slightly differently. But anyhow, I call it Croupier. So that is the title of the film we're gonna go with, but Mike Hodges is the director of Get Carter. If you've ever checked out Get Carter, it's kind of one of those British crime dramas. This was directed by him later on, and I personally like this film even better than Get Carter. I think Clive Owen is superb in it, and I think it's kind of a slow burn thriller. If you haven't checked out the film, how it works is, is he's a writer, basically Clive Owen's character. He needs money, so he goes to work at a casino, and it's how things escalate, basically getting involved with criminal elements and doing things, and I'm not wanting to give away too much because it is one of those thrillers, though, that when you watch it, it builds, and I actually felt like I enjoyed it on my repeat viewing more than I did the first time because you see so many more elements of that neo-noir like idea behind it. And it is a fun thriller. I think the acting in it's great, the direction in it was great. And it is one of those films that I really loved from 1998. And I've watched this numerous times and the film itself is a very enjoyable, though I will say it does have strong language, some brief violence and some sexual content. So go into it with that understanding so you understand it. Now for this new 4K, Arrow Video did a brand new 4K restoration from the original 35 millimeter camera negatives. And it was all supervised and approved by the original director, Mike Hodges himself. And that makes a big difference in retaining the original vision and intention for how this is supposed to look. Now, this is a native 4K 2160p. Another nice thing about this is, is it has a really nice looking image. And I will say this blows away the previous Blu-ray release. It is a really nice improvement in depth, the clarity of it. The film grain is extremely stable throughout it. I really can't say I noticed really much fluctuations all throughout it. 
It really is impressive that they left that natural film grain, did not use DNR on this, and it is nice for a film from 1998. That original 35mm camera negative has some nice film grain, and they really present it nicely in this for a nice filmic image. And if you like Clive Owen as an actor, you're really going to enjoy this and need to check out this film because he really did a good job in this early on in his career. Now for this native 4K, it also gets Dolby Vision and HDR10. Between both the Dolby Vision and HDR10, they were both very similar presentations on this one. And I enjoyed both a lot. And I thought regardless of which one I was watching, because a lot of like the colors, they'll go to like things that are like a greenish color tone, then it'll go to a kind of almost bleached out color tone. They use a lot of that throughout the film to kind of purvey the scene it's in. And a lot of it has to do with the lights that are above being like greenish colored or things like that. And I think it does a great job purveying that throughout the film and beautifully brings it to life with the new color grading they did. Again, that was approved by the original director, Mike Hodges, and looks really great on this. Another real treat we get on this is the restored, uncompressed 2.0 stereo in English and the fact that they did it in such a nice release, the clarity of this. Man, the original Blu-ray I'd owned was always poor sounding, really poor. Had clicks and little just audio issues with it. You couldn't hear things, it would go up, it would go down, it would go up, it would go down. This one, the audio sounded great with that uncompressed. I was really surprised at how good it is. Now it is a 2.0, but it still sounded great considering this film I never thought we'd ever see a 4K restoration of, let alone the fact of that it got released on 4K Ultra HD. So very impressed with what they did for the audio mix on this as well, because it's so clear and so crisp, so easy to understand and hear things that that alone was worth the upgrade of this over those poor Blu-rays I used to have from a long time ago. Now getting to what you get in this set, it does come in the slip cover. I always like to put those HDR stickers there. It's a really nice slip cover, says Groupier on it. Then on the back, it talks about it, that it was a new 4K restoration from the original camera negative, which is the 35 millimeter one. And again, it says it was approved by director Mike Hodges. Talks about all the special features you get in here, how it does come with your 4K and your Blu-ray disc, which is a limited edition exclusive. So the extra bonus Blu-ray disc you get in this is exclusive to this limited edition set. So again, once these sell out, you won't get the bonus disc or the bonus stuff that's included in this case. So keep that in mind. If you're wanting to buy it, don't wait too long. Now, when you get inside, you get this nice reversible cover artwork. I always love that they include both of those on it. it says Croupier on the side and then the same thing listed on the back. Now, when you get inside here, you do get art cards and a bunch of bonus things that are in this limited edition set that I'll get to here in a second. You have your Blu-ray disc here, and that is a BD-50, but it is region B locked. So that bonus disc you get in the limited edition set, you will need a multi-region or region fee player to be able to play this disc if you live inside region A or region C territory because this is region B locked. So those of us that live in the US or Canada, for example, region A, you'll need a multi-region or region free player to play that disc. But the 4K disc, which is where it's at, is 100% region free. No issues playing this whatsoever, and it is a BD100. That makes a difference when I get to my testing here in just a minute that I'm gonna share. But let me just say the BD100 is very nice for the amount of content on there because nothing was over compressed or compressed down at all. Now in the limited edition set, you do get another one of these limited edition booklets. Again, these are only in these limited edition sets. Talks about the restoration, talks about Scorsese's thoughts on it, comments on it, comments on the film itself, what went behind it, the thoughts behind it, pictures, all that good stuff. This booklet was a good read and it's about the same size as the one from the Sisters Brothers. So it is a nice booklet, I do like it, but I like when they come in those bigger boxes like what I was reviewing at the beginning with The Last Emperor, but I still like the collectability of these booklets and things from these other types of Arrow Video limited edition sets. It's just I prefer those big boxes. I absolutely love them on my shelves to sit and kind of look at them because they're so big and everything. But this is a nice booklet. Then you get a poster with the new artwork and then on the back side it has the other artwork that was on the case as well. Now getting to some more of my exclusive testing, I did the rough average bit rate on this and I will tell you I was shocked and surprised. This has a very surprisingly high and strong rough average bit rate of 94 megabits per second. I literally was shocked when I was going through how high this is. For this release, I never expected the image, the bitrate, 
all of that to be so impressive for a release of a film that is a lesser known Mike Hodges film. Everybody always thinks of Get Carter. Grippier is a great film. It's a slick thriller. I think it's well written. It builds really well. Kind of really starts off slow and you kind of get into the characters and then it just builds. And that's why I love it. I love when films do that. It just kind of surprises you how you sat back, watched this film and enjoyed it so much. And it's a great film to experience. Never expected it to look this good, to be honest with you, on 4K Ultra HD. It is a very great viewing experience. No issues, no banding, no blocking, no digital noise. Very, very impressive release from Arrow Video. Especially for a film that only had a three million pound budget. So obviously it was filmed in the UK and it had a three million pound budget. That's shocking that we got this great of a restoration and release on 4K Ultra HD. Now getting to my review score, this gets a superb 9.6. You must buy this, you must add this to your collection. Experience this film in the best quality it's ever been released on home video. And let me tell you, the Blu-ray releases I had before were so poor in comparison to this that it really is a shocking experience to see how good this really looks. And that's why when I got through doing all my testing and everything, I mean, the bitrate on it is a shocker alone. That lends to why the image was so great on this. This is a must buy. If you haven't experienced this thriller, if you like casino and gambling type movies, which I'm a sucker for them, I've always loved all of them. I mean, I really want rounders on 4K Ultra HD. That one desperately needs to be on 4K. But without digressing, this is one of those that's a great film as well you need to check out. Keep in mind the content that's in it though. But otherwise, great job, superb job on this release, 9.6. Arrow Video knocked it out of the park with this release. What a great transfer this was and how good of a job they did with this 4K restoration. Really can't say enough about how much I enjoyed this restoration. Again, for a film that I just thought never would actually get one. Now, if you decide you're gonna buy this, now that you've heard my review score, like I said earlier, I posted that direct link from Amazon in the description section below. When you click on that, it takes you straight out to Amazon. That's never any extra cost to you. But when you click on those links, it does help to support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit. And no matter where you live worldwide, those links down there below will ship anywhere worldwide. So those of you that are in the US and want to get these, those are all the direct links as well that ship them directly to you so you don't have any issues with that whatsoever. As always, if you enjoy all my time and hard work I put into every single one of these comparison review videos and every video I create here on my YouTube channel, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. It's very important. That is the only way I'm able to keep doing this here on my YouTube channel is through my Collector's VIP Club member support. Every little dollar that any of you give goes back into the creation of these videos. That's how I'm able to keep doing this full time. A video like this takes me roughly about four to five days to create, to test and analyze every single one of these releases, get the data off of them, do all of the comparisons for the image comparisons of them, and then to create this video, edit it down, add all the special effects, and then release it. It's a massive undertaking and a lot of work. So make sure if you enjoy all of the time, all of the work that I put into everything, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club or give a super thanks to the super thanks button down below. As always, I'm only supported by you, my viewers and subscribers. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Let me know what of these titles you're excited for. What of these you're excited that I did my reviews on. What of these you're wanting to pick up and buy. Let me know if you've seen some of these films. Start all that conversation in the comment section below. I always love to hear from all of you. And let me say, Aerial Video did a nice job on these releases and I really was impressed, especially because I kind of took a step back from their releases recently. It's nice to be back into these. I mean, it is kind of like a comforting feeling. I just wish all that junk wouldn't have happened and all the way they treated me wouldn't have happened because it really did put a sour taste in my mouth. And I mean, overall, I had always enjoyed working and reviewing things for Aero Video in the past and I'd always enjoyed a lot of their releases. It just really stinks and that's why I just wanted to make sure to share some of that with all of you because some of you have asked about it. As always, I truly hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.